Hello and welcome to PL Tutorials. This video tutorial is going to be in three parts. In the first video, I'm going to be showing you how to connect your PDB and also how to unlock sample schemas. In the second video, I'm going to be showing you how to connect your CDB and PDB to Oracle Enterprise Manager Express. Lastly, I'm going to be showing you how to connect your CDB and PDB to SQL Developer. Let's start. To connect your PDB, the first thing we need to do is to register the service under the TNS um, names.rm file. To register the service, we need to change directory to where we have that file. So I'm just going to change directory to where we have the file. So when we do a listing of this, we are going to see this. So we are actually going to edit what we have in this file. You can use any of the editor you want to use. So I'm just going to use the VI editor and then I'll just do this. So in this file, we have just one service registered and this service registered is for our CDB database. So for us to connect to the PDB, we need to register a service like this for the PDB. So to make our work easier, I'm just going to copy what I have here. So we just copy this. And then we go below this file. Let's take our cursor to the end part of this file. And we paste it here. So when we do this, we just rename it. The name of this PDB is PDB RCO. I left it at the default name. So I'm just going to make this a PDB. And then I'm going to go to a service name and um, change the service name to PDBRCO since that's the name of the Blockable Database. And then we will save and create an override. The next thing we need to do after registering the service under the TNS names.ora file, we need to start up our listener. So I'm going to use the addressing RCTL start to start up my listener now if you have started your listener before you started doing this you need to reload your listener the next thing we need to do is to connect to sql plus so i'm going to connect to sql plus so we are connected we need to start up the database so our database is started by default, when you start up your database, it is connected to your CDB. So like, let's um, check this for example. So you see, you're connected to CDB. So if you want to connect to PDB, we need to alter our section. And then we need to set um, our container to the name of our PDB. After altering the section, we need to check the status of our PDB to see if it is open. So to check the status, we just um, um, select um, open in score mode. So we see that our PDB is mounted, so we can't actually do anything. So to open our PDB, we need to alter Plugable Database. Sorry about that. Open. So our Plugable Database is altered. So let's um, select Open Mode. As you can see, our uh, plugable database is open for read and write. The next thing we are going to be doing is how to unlock your sample schema. So to unlock your sample schema, I'm just going to unlock HL so you see how it works. So you just um, alter user HL and then you have it. 
by each room. Then you have your sorry account. So user HR is um unlocked to connect to HR. So we are connected. In this section, we are going to be connecting our CDB and PDB to Enterprise Manager Express. To connect our CDB and PDB to Enterprise Manager Express, we need to first check the port number for each of these databases. So I have two terminals here. One is connected to the CDB and the other is connected to our PDB. Let's get the port number for the CDB. So this is our port number for our CDB. This port number was generated after the installation. So let's run the same command in our pluggable database. So I'm just going to copy this. And then I'm going to paste it here. Yeah. As you can see, our port for the PDB is not set. So let's set the port. So to set the port, we execute This time we are setting the port This are CDB port is um, 5500, so I'm just going to set the PDB to 5501. So that's executed successfully. Let's copy this. So our uh, CDB port is 5500 and then our uh, PDB port is 5501. So let's navigate to our browser. So the first time you connect to Enterprise Manager Express, you are going to see this um, connection is untrusted. So what we are going to do is we are going to click on I understand the risks and then we are going to add exception for that connection. Now, when we add exception, we just um, confirm the security exception. Let's do the same for our pluggable database too. We click on understand the risks and then let's add exception too. So we need to confirm security exception. So this fires up our Enterprise Manager Database Express for 12C. So let's um, connect our sys. Then you have your password there. Yes. This is the B and then we'll log in. Now we'll check this. Yeah. As you can see, this is connected to our CDB and this is connected to our PDB. In this section, we are going to be connecting SQL Developer to our CDB and PDB. As you can see, this is the SQL Developer Start page. The first thing you need to do when you're on the Start page is to go to the connection first since you're connected to your local machine. Then right click. First, we create local connection. This local connection, we generate two connections for our CDB. Now let's connect our PDB database. To connect our PDB database, we right click on connections, click on new connections, 
then I'm going to name the connection name sysPDB. The username will be sys as sysWA. So I'm going to have the password there. We have to save the password so it doesn't prompt us for password all the time. And then we'll go to our basic TNS. Then we'll connect to our pluggable database, which is BDB or LCO. Yeah. And then let's test the connection. Now, our connection is successful, so we just um, connect. So as you can see, this is our PDB connection, our SIS. Now let's connect one of our sample schemas. So to connect HR, we'll go to connections, right click on connections and check new connections. Then I'm just going to name this HR. Username will be HR and then the password also is HR. So we can save password. And then we'll go to connection type again, go to TNS, network alliance, and then choose the plug database. So let's test connection. So that's successful. So we can connect. Now this is a connection to our HR. I hope this has been very informative for you. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you for viewing.